Hey everyone! In today's video, we're going to be looking at relay wiring diagrams and how to properly connect automotive relays. Understanding relay schematics is crucial for installing aftermarket electronics or diagnosing electrical issues in your vehicle. So what exactly is a relay? Simply put, a relay is an electromagnetic switch that uses a low current circuit to control a higher current circuit. It acts like a gatekeeper, allowing a large amount of current to flow to a component once triggered by a much smaller amount of current. Relays are used extensively in cars for things like headlights, electric fans, fuel pumps, or any components that draw a lot of power. Triggering the relay with a low wattage switch or computer signal prevents voltage drops and electrical overloads. Now let's talk about the anatomy of a relay. They contain two separate circuits along with an electromagnet that does the actual switching. There are two sets of pins that we need to understand. First is the control circuit. This consists of pins 85 and 86. It's sometimes referred to as the trigger or coil circuit. When power is applied here, it activates the electromagnet within the relay. Pin 85 is the ground connection, while 86 goes to a positive 12V source. The second circuit is the high current switch circuit. It has three pins, pins 30, 87, and 87A power into the relay comes through the common pin 30. When the relay is energized, pin 87 then connects to pin 30 to allow current to flow through to the component being powered. Pin 87A is normally closed and opens when the relay activates. Now let's look at some sample automotive relay wiring diagrams. We'll start with a standard four-pin relay found in many cars. Power is supplied to pin 86, often from a switch or controller. Pin 85 is grounded, completing the control circuit. 12V power is fed into pin 30 from the vehicle's fuse box or battery. When energized, the relay closes the switch between pins 30 and 87, sending power out to the component. A horn relay is a good example. The horn switch grounds pin 85 when pressed. This triggers the internal electromagnet, closing the switch between pins 30 and 87. Current then flows from the battery to the horn. Next is a 5-pin relay. This contains an extra pin 87 that is normally closed. Power flows through 87A to the component until the relay is activated, opening the circuit. A common use case is for cooling fans, where pin 87 it keeps the fan on until the relay triggers to provide extra cooling when needed. The key takeaway is that a relay uses a low current circuit to control a high current circuit. Understanding the pinout and wiring diagram of relays in your vehicle is crucial for diagnostics and installing aftermarket electronics. I recommend grabbing a multimeter and testing relay circuits to get comfortable with how they operate. You can use jumper wires to trigger relays and see the high current side switch on and off. Be sure to reference a wiring diagram specific to your vehicle anytime you are testing or replacing a relay. While they operate similarly, Pinouts can vary between vehicle makes and models. Hopefully, this video has helped explain the fundamentals of relay operation and how to interpret their wiring schematics. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe.